The government intends to amend the Cybercrime Act to go after persons critical of it on social media, says leader of the Alliance for Change, Nigel Hughes. Speaking at the party's weekly press conference, Hughes said the Attorney General Anil Nandalal is attempting to be disingenuous with his claims of bringing the amendments in keeping with international laws. The Attorney General has said that the amendments have to do with social media. This is the amendments to the Cybercrime Act. However, the proposed amendments that are being discussed for the new international convention deal with the following. Child pornography, child exploitation, grooming, non-consensual release of intimate uh, images, and money laundering. So the, the version two of the Budapest Convention on Cybercrime has nothing to do with social media. So where the Attorney General is attempting to suggest where they want to make changes to the Cybercrime Act to deal with social media, this is not even remotely contemplated by the International Convention. And it is clear, I think that discloses or betrays the true intention of the government when they introduce cyber, uh, uh, cyber crime, social media, sorry, that they intend to use this to go after the people who they don't like in social media, who are constantly criticizing them. According to the AFC leader, the amendments will also criminalize defamation. Defamation allows you a civil remedy. So if someone libels you or, or defames you, you're entitled to go to court and get damages. What the present government is doing is giving a criminal sanction for what in effect was a civil wrong, which you had to go to court. The problem with that is, is that it now becomes a tool in the arm of the state that will be used to prosecute, stifle, and silence people the government want to get rid of. And I just, there's no better case that I can refer to than the case of Shara Duncan. Why would you want to criminalize somebody because they went to social media and called you a trench crapo? Any expansion now is a grave potential trespass on the rights guaranteed uh, under the Constitution to its citizens and in keeping with the, the thrust of the Budapest Con Convention from 2001, we believe it should be limited to those areas. It should not be used to prosecute defamation. According to you, the direction the government is heading is a dangerous one. Referred to somebody as a trench crap hole and, and they felt it was slanderous, you could take them to court or they, they could take you to court, sorry. Um, what, what has happened now is that we are criminalizing what was just defamation before. Now that's a dangerous place to get, particularly in an expressive society like the Caribbean and particularly Guyana. So our former leader who likes, uh, liked to say, haul your, if he said haul your fat whatever, that potentially is a cyber crime because, um, you know, it, it, it causes hurt and harm and, uh, to whoever it's, 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 it's uh, addressed to. And I'm sure that that was not the intention. You see, the Attorney General is trying to introduce social media uh, and things said in social media to create criminal activity. That is not what either convention, either the Budapest or the proposed uh, amendments or updates to it. And it's a dangerous place to go. I mean, in the Caribbean, we're forever talking and abusing and, uh, and saying unfortunate things about people. 